Hello everybody. Today I am back to this unmarked lot where I found this Lincoln Continental. This this was a couple months ago. And first of all, I can't believe that this Continental Mark II is still here. It's still parked in the same spot. You know, since I filmed it, it, it rained and we had like pretty big storms. Look, it's still unlocked. Look at that. Now, I'm not going to go in there. Whoops. Um, look, this is still open. It rained a lot. <laughs> and it's still here. It's still in the same spot. I cannot believe that whoever is the owner of this beauty just allows it to just sit here. I mean, I, I, I'm still at awe that I found it and it's still here and nobody cares about it. It's still unlocked. So... <laughs> I want to take a look at a couple of these cars. I mean, that's why I'm back. So first of all, this Land Rover, I remember finding it when I first came here, but I believe it was locked at the time. Now, it looks like it is unlocked. It looks like the door is sagging too. So um, now I know that these things have a cult following. Um, I watched some videos and people go nuts over these things, you know, for the heritage or for whatever. Um, now, I, on the other hand, you know, I I don't know how to unlock it, uh, unlatch it. All right. Here we go. Now, I, on the other hand, I don't know much about these cars. All I know is they are old, and they are respected out there in the, in the Land Rover community. All right, that's exactly how it was. So I'm interested in it just simply from an old car perspective because uh, you know you, you can't you can't get these cars today you know like that oh my god how tiny everything is so look at this uh first of all what year what are, what are we what are we working with here uh there is no sticker so and besides this is a, a british car and maybe they didn't put stickers on there well wow, first of all it sounds very echoey in here so here you go it's a land rover Fuel, water temp, I don't know what the bottom, oh, charge, it goes up to 70 miles an hour, and it's got 42,573 miles. Wow, look at this. That's your turn signals. Flash all. Flash all. Okay. Look at this. Uh. I don't know how well it's, it's pretty faded tire life will be reduced if used in four-wheel drive for a long period of time okay yeah it's it, there's not a lot of space for me to open the door because it's hitting this uh land rover a oh, land cruiser not land rover oh, look at this yeah wow so simple real metal I know that these open up your air vents, but it looks like they're stuck, either that or I don't know how to open it. Look, nice vinyl seat, it's a three, three seater up front. You got additional bench with a spare tire. Wow, the headliner is really nice. I don't know if it's original or not. And like I said, I still don't know what, what this place does. Um, does it restore these cars? Does it, does it sell them? Uh, it looks like this door does not close all the way. But, wow, well, you know, just from a perspective of finding older, cooler cars, I mean, obviously, that thing, that silver thing right there, I mean, that's the coolest car in the lot. But, you know, I also do respect others. Like, look at this El Camino. Although, I think it's highly modified. Well, let's see. Because I, I looked at it before I kind of started filming. And it looks like on the inside, it's uh, there's stuff happening inside. So look. Somebody, there must have been a hood ornament here somebody took. I definitely did not do that. So once again, look. It's a free-for-all. Yeah, like I saw this whatever this display is and that's when i realized this thing is not stock and then whatever this is this shifter thing and it looks like there's a screen there i guess the only thing original is the, the climate control our first car in the united states i think it was an 89 
Oldsmobile Calais Supreme, I think. I think had the same controls for climate. Well, I mean, the, the, the doors are really nice. It does not work. The lock and unlock does not work. So either it doesn't have a juice in the battery or something else. I don't think that the steering wheel is original. So yeah, I mean, obviously this thing got bolted on, but still, you know, how cool it is to be finding these cars in this condition, just sitting here. Oh, I remember this thing. Alante, I filmed it, it's still here. Like I said, several months has passed since I visited this lot at first and all these, I'm presuming expensive cars are still here. All right, well, I'm gonna go in the back lot and I'll see what, what lies there. All right, so here, here we are. I'm seeing some oldies but goodies. Uh, here's that Monte Carlo. Here is that Plymouth Belvedere where right around here flying a lot of little angry stripey uh, insects. I don't remember the tire being flat, but that's not to say that it didn't, you know, it didn't happen. I don't remember. So I guess right now it's cold enough where hopefully I can kind of take a quick peek right here because I know I have to film from that side and even then I was scared crapless. So, wow, I mean, it's a it's a beautiful car. So again, I don't remember if the seat was split like that either, but <laughs> so yeah, that's just several months has gone by, at least a couple. So yeah, beautiful car then, beautiful car now. Ooh, oh yeah. I hope that this thing is unlocked. All right, well, let's take a look here. That's a Mercedes C-Class, who cares? All right, what about this? I remember seeing this Mercedes 280 SE. I don't remember if it was unlocked or not. I know I didn't get in there. Oh, wow, okay, so I don't know what's up with this place. I, I need to look up, what does this building do? I, I will Google it, I will find it by the address. Look at this, very nice. I, I wish I could show you the front, but maybe I can find a picture online. All right, is this thing unlocked? I think so. Oh yeah, look at this. I don't know what year it is. I hope I don't sit on a bee or something like that. Look at this, 6873, repair and tune-up guide. So okay, so it's between 68 and 73. Wow. This is a freaking true gem for me. 54,194 miles. So I'm starting to think that this place restores old cars. Look how tiny this is. All right, lights. Okay, it's it's almost like a key. Wow, it's almost, yeah, it's a literal, it's like, it's like a, all right, anyway. Is that a volume knob? Okay, oil, temp. MPGs, I'm assuming, clock, speedometer, 160. Yeah, I have a hard time believing this can do 160 un unless it's in kilometers, although no, it does say MPG, MPH, I'm sorry. Hazards. Huh, yeah, whoever does this, I, I don't like when they take, um, you know, classic cars like this and put this, like who does that? I guess the little levers are broken off in here. Either that or, or this does something to them. I don't know if this looks like you, oh, wow. It's a very inconvenient ashtray. Climate. Cigarette lighter. Wow, I don't know if that's supposed to do that or not. Shifter, I guess the shifter, whoops, fingers are getting in the way. Shifter is kind of the same from like more modern ones too. Window switches, I'm guessing glove box. Yep, oh, maybe we can find out. What year, owner's manual. All right, well, who doesn't who doesn't put year? There's gotta be a year. There is no year. There is no year. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to look it up. So I don't know who does that. I'm guessing this is real wood. Like it feels like a real wood. Wiper and this must be speed selector. Oh, this little shroud is falling off, okay. Well, 
I'm guessing this is not original either, whatever this is. Oh, this is cruise control. So somebody put an additional aftermarket cruise control. Come on, people. You gotta appreciate the car for what it does, for what it is. Uh, I'm guessing that this wrap thing is also not original on the stream. Yeah, well, oh, maybe there's right here. There's a little plaque here. Um. All right, I don't know if I can, it's in a very weird angle. Okay, well, you know what, I'll have to figure it out, but the bottom line is, this car is awesome. Oh, I didn't even realize, okay, so it does have a sunroof with uh, without glass once again, although, you know, that's what kind of bums me out is that these cars just sit here. I mean, you can kind of see the condition that they start. And if somebody, like, I don't know under what circumstances does this car made its way here. But, like, if it just sits here, nothing is going to happen. It's just going to rot away. So, I don't know. There's just something about it that it's nice that it's here for me. Oh, look at this. Hmm. Okay. But at the same time, I kind of feel bad. All right. Well, let's look at a couple more. And then I'll split it up to maybe a few more videos. So I got this Corvette. I think I tried it last time. It was locked. Yeah, it still is. All right. Custom Deluxe. What is this? Chevy? Yeah. Okay. It's a Chevy Deluxe truck. Let's see. It does look nice. So again, for even for a person who's not in the pickup trucks, I mean, I, I like him. I appreciate him. So, okay. Yeah, there you go. I love this place. This place is all right. Let's see, do we have a plaque? No. Do we know anything? Manufacturer, okay, it's a 1970. I don't know if you guys can see, it's barely visible right here. It's manufactured 10 of 78. So this must be a 79 version. Ugh. Oh wow, really high up. Really gotta come up here. Oh, but it's nice. Look, you got full gauges, although this one is doesn't do anything. Volts, oil pressure. Um, 13,000 miles. And now, keep in mind, I don't know if any of them rolled over. I mean, I keep boasting how low mileage these cars are, but I have no idea. Fuel. Yep, very basic. No, no AC. Oh, I love these radios. Although it's made by Panasonic. That's, that's surprising. Oh. Real metal roof. No, uh, no headliner. Nothing. Got these nice crank windows, got these nice little vent windows, quarter windows. See, that's, this is nice. And the beauty it is, you know, it's got everything you need. You know, it's, just, it's a stick shift. I want to drive a stick shift. I know how to drive a stick shift. I just, I haven't really had any chance of it. Nobody in my family owns one. So. Okay. All right, I'm guessing that's locked or or something. Or am I missing something? Okay, that's weird. They decided to put this information on the visor. No mirror, but catalytic converter information. Oh, and then the original very thin steering wheel. Plastic, no, no wrap, no nothing. Is that that little button thing on the floor? Is it to change the radio stations, I'm guessing? Either that or for high beams, I'm not sure. I love the the solid clank of the door. Yeah. All right. Oh, I remember the molester van. I do. I don't want to go in there. What is this? Supra. Celica. Celica Supra. Okay. Rich Ray. Wow. Do you think? Do you think that's enough badges? Toyota Celica Supra EFI, and then whatever. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay. Don't think I have ever seen a car like this before. To be honest with you.
Okay, what about the so first of all? Yep, it's unlocked. Oh my god. What did they do? What did they do? It smells weird in here. So look, somebody has a club. So you have a club, but then you don't even lock your you don't even lock your door. So anyway, do you think that's enough crap on the steering wheel? I mean I know some people like their steering wheels, you know, more beefy than others, but holy crap. Like, like what kind of self-respectable person does that? But anyway, I mean, okay, so it's uh, it's obviously in a weird situation here. You got, I don't know, people like start customizing their cars in a very questionable way. And I know I'm, I'm in no position to judge them, but uh, okay. I love the shifter, okay. Once again, you got this weird Pioneer stuff here. Oh, you do have a cassette. And you have a designated button for AC. That must have been a big deal back then. Uh, 17,000 miles. Okay. Oh, look. Fake stitching. It's a 1979. Right there. I don't know if you guys can pick that up. Right there. October of 1979. Now, keep in mind, I am not in cars like this. Okay, it doesn't lock. It doesn't latch. So, can't really comment on them. Now, I would like to drive it someday, <laughs> just so I can experience it. But, you know, I, I just enjoy filming these things as they are. Okay, I do remember this Cadillac, and I do remember it being locked, so. Let's see, is it still locked? Yep, it is still locked. See, why couldn't they unlock this one for me? Like, I appreciate a good Toyota Celica Supra, but I appreciate this even more. Right there. All right, I'm gonna check it out, that Buick.